Allah Hu Akbar, Allah Hu Akbar. And when they mention the name of Muhammad, they add some sacred words to it. When they refer to their Imam, it's with maximum respect. Go to them and learn, and remove and quash them from your brain. Go to them and learn. I scarcely see them take a piece of paper and insult their leaders. We are sitting there that we are born again. Born what? You are not even born before you be born again. A spirit The meetings are too many. The Muslim, every day they go to the mosque. Not once a week, old. every day, and they go how many times? Five times. You say you are going to heaven. Hell cry, you won't qualify to go. Some of you, when you die, that's so it is hell. God will send you there. You will not exist again. Oh, and you see the meetings are too many. And the prayers are too many. And others are praying five times a day. Every day at 12 o'clock, they will be at the mosque. Every day, businessmen, rich people, you with your poverty. Oh, the Muslims are the people you see, rich man, contractor. He will pack his car and go and kneel down. And bow down with common members, commoners. And I don't think they also enter the mosque with their shoe. I'm not preaching. Why are you not clapping? You see, people, we are saved by grace. But I'm telling you, if confessing Jesus, but living carelessly and foolishness, and foolishly, is what will take people to heaven. But Muslims, in spite of their diligence, we say they will go to hell. I will say God is not fair. Why would careless people like us who are not serious? The only thing we did is stand here and say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. And that is all. We are going to heaven. And somebody else who is so diligent and applies themselves to their religion with all committed commitment, they would rather die and you say they are going to hell. Keep fooling yourself. Keep, keep, keep fooling yourself. Hey, Mandela, you see the way you cross your leg? Don't change it too. But I'm telling you, in the mosque, you can't do this. Wallahi, masalati, bagay. You know, there is some kind of nonsense which is spoken only about churches and in church. That, that, that. Let me tell you people. There are things nobody dare do them in a mosque. Mandela, you see church. If we were kneeling down, bowing down, kneeling down, bowing down, washing ourselves before we enter church, Many people will stop church. What kind of church is this? I can't go through all this punishment. Remove my shoes, wash my feet. Clean myself. Why? They'll tell you it's not necessary. The Muslim will do all that. And then enter the church. Or the mosque. And they are not sitting on the chair. I don't know whether these days they started sitting on the chair. Mat. Bag was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle and God told him see say it, that thou make all things according to the pattern that I have showed you so watch this everything you see here should be a reflection of what is in heaven in my father's house so if you don't know what is in the father's house you look at what you can see on earth so Pearl, the challenge is this all of you are looking at me as your pastor senior pastor i must look like jesus the high priest in the holy of holies in heaven that means i cannot stand here with so many force and tell you that to air is human because the high priest in the holy of holies in heaven in the father's house is not a man of many faults in fact he has no fault must work to remove every fault 
and stand here blameless instead of because you see when i stand here and i'm full of moral problems i'm giving you a wrong picture of who the high priest in heaven is because you see you the pastor you are the nearest thing to god in the imagination of the people so what they see that is the idea of what god is to them it's the same way in your family in your business you the family head you are the nearest thing to god in the mind of your children when your children look at you they see a picture of god so now when we